Uh, Norman Silberdick, uh, representing the Rational Taxpayers of Hampton. I live at 70 Todd Mill Road in Hampton. I have uh, a couple items I'd like to just present to the board today, and there's no priority of particular order on them. The first of them is this article that appeared last week regarding um, the uh, experience Hampton development and review and analysis of the downtown area. And the comment that really got to me was the um, implication that they'd love to be able to get the million and a half dollars that's in the uh, road improvement fund for use in the downtown area. And uh, that particular Warren article was passed in, in uh, 1998 for the purpose of uh, of improving our roads, and we've continued to put money into it. It's not a million and a half to mean just a shade under million three right now, and the uh, hasn't really been tapped. But we continue to put money into it. There is a list of roads that are of high priority. They've been. Uh, stratified in terms of their level of importance by the Department of Public Works, and I'm sure you've all reviewed those over the years, and I think that uh, those should take priority for the taxpayers over what would amount to be a business development project. I further, uh, it, I mean, it was a shame regarding the fact that that Warren article got passed for the 300000 to look at the downtown area. I'm not against, uh, in fact, I'm very pro-business, but there are so many questions related to what is the downtown area, what should be included, who should be included, what kind of plan there is. You're dealing with uh, various property owners and trying to get them to agree to a plan would be like herding cats. And you really need to have a lot of thought process into that. I don't know what Mr. Nyan has presented for the board to consider in terms of a strategic plan with the cooperation of the merchants that are downtown. Some of those merchants would not be, if the tenants are trying to attract tourist traffic into the community to go to a cleaner uh, or go to the, to, uh, uh, the drugstore, I mean, I, I'm not sure that, that it makes sense. But uh, I would think that the board should put pressure on the group before they spend any money uh, to identify what their strategy is. And uh, right now we're very concerned that money that's used uh, for um, for these kind of purposes to really develop business in the community be thought out very, very carefully. The second comment I want to make was I had previously written an article in the paper and I had, uh, followed up with emails concerning the cable TV committee because at the time that Warren article was prepared, the lack of uh, identification that there was going to be a reduction of $250,000 worth of revenue to the town to offset taxes resulted in that item being passed and the uh, at the uh, at the deliberative session instead of getting 40 percent it then went to 100 uh, percent of the cable TV cable TV fees it's far more money than is needed um, we had requested that this be reviewed when they had a meeting. I thought that they didn't have a very good, any sense of a strategic plan, direction, what they want to use the money for, and it's going to be a surplus in there. And failing to um, to be able to uh, either put the money back into the general coffers, we would suggested reducing the cable TV fee, which would affect all taxpayers from Comcast from 4% to 2%. I know it's to be studied at some point in time in the future, but I'd like to request the Board of Selectmen not to ignore it and to uh, and to take it up for review. Oh, three minutes, so. Am I done? Okay. Well, one last thing. That gas station, which is sitting on uh, at the corner of uh, Lafayette Road and uh, Winnicunit Road, is, uh, I was just curious, the guy wants something like $800,000, $600,000 for it. It's assessed for uh, 332000 which is more than the active gas station, a, a repair place across the street. And I'm so adamant about uh, getting uh, 600000 that maybe it ought to be taxed at 600000 Thank you.